A released WWE superstar has signed with AEW. AJ Styles was mysteriously absent from last night's Raw. And we have further details on the planned UK pay-per-view for WWE in 2022. Ooh. Yes, so first of all, let's talk about this re recently released, fairly recently released yeah. WWE superstar who signed with all the wrestling. Uh, on Wrestling Observer Radio, they were talking about this and they were reporting that Tony Nese oh. has signed with All Elite. Uh, and then uh, was saying like, well, well, Melter clarified saying he signed the he signed, he signed that's the deal, but didn't really go into much more detail beyond that. No, that, that which is uh, I'm very excited about this because I think Nice is fantastic, and I think he was very underutilized on Two or Five Live. He does have tele it's the like but telephone buttons you could just press them yeah. and they'd yeah. make a little noise. <laughs> he is so good, and and now. The idea that he could be wrestling with, I'd, I'd love to see him wrestle against Bobby Fish. I'd love to see him wrestle against uh, Brian Danielson. Yeah. And, like, there's so many good people that he could match up with. I, th I think this is a, a, a great fit for him, really. No, it's certainly Tony time. Uh, Fightful jumped in with some details to remind us of the AW contract system following Meltzer's words, saying that uh, they've got talent, some talent signed to a tier zero contract, which mm. is agreed to appear. Seems like more of an informal, yeah. part time sort of thing. But then we'll move them up to a tier one contract, which is their base contract agreement which is often indicated by the all elite graphic yes. so and so is all elite mm -hmm. now tony hasn't had that yet not yet so um we'll have to wait and see if that is forthcoming mm -hmm. and whether he's properly fully signed i hope he is because i think you're right i think he's very very good me too and he was in the crowd as well he was, he was. in the crowd at the uh, dark tapings and stuff which is pretty cool they so. called him I one of the cool. they called him one of the hottest free agents in wrestling so it seems like they're building him up yeah, like, well, definitely, yeah definitely definitely so and well. yeah like we were saying there's so many there's so many Good wrestlers he could get into a scrap with. One of them. Oh, you've got a better uh, one than me. No, you yours, do. Is, good yours is well. very good. Oh, we're, very good. we're both like Suzuki. We are. Uh, in other news, but related news as mm. well, there's been rumours swirling apparently of AW possibly having their eye on another WWE talent. This one's still with WWE. Mm. Uh, Meltzer also saying that they were looking potentially at uh, Shorty G or yeah. Chad Gable. Now, he is someone I would really like to see in AEW. Me too. Unfortunately, Melter says it's just more of a talked about sort of thing. Oh. He's not too hopeful. He said it's been talked about, yeah. but he doesn't think it's going to happen. But it has been talked about, and he's definitely had friends also tell him the same mm -hmm. thing, saying, you'd be cute, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but Melter then does point out, it's been one of those things that's just been under, that's been, uh, under consideration, mm. but I don't think he's going anywhere. I don't know that. It's just one of those things. Melter then justifies this by by saying that Gable will be making more money in, a in WWE yeah. than he would almost anywhere else, apart from AW, mm -hmm. but not everybody gets that offer from AW, especially when they're still in the contract. Yeah, of course, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know. I'd, lo I'd love to see that I as well, though. I would like so that, that Neeson, even Neeson uh, and Shorty G together, I think they'd have a fantastic match as well. Shorty G. Shorty G. Why, what have they done to him? Maybe they'll how... call him Biggie G when oh. he comes to AW. Oh, maybe, God. potentially. <laughs> now, obviously, they had like... He had, he, I'm just thinking of how great he was in NXT. Mm. But obviously Jason Jordan's had injury issues and stuff. Yes, of course. But together on NXT, they were... They were great, weren't they? They were yeah. really, really good. And Gable's just a natural. He's he like, is. He's an angle. Man. That, every, that's the comparison everybody yes, makes. And that's another thing as well. Like he, He's very much, to me, a, like a wrestler's wrestler as well. And I think him in technical bouts with people on the AEW roster, oh, we would get some blooming tasty dishes. It would be fantastic. It really would. Maybe, maybe in the future just somewhere we'll down the line but apparently not quite now but it's, mm. but it has been talked about and he has been considered yeah. which is hopeful news I suppose um, also we uh, need to talk about AJ Styles we do who was conspicuous in his absence from last night's Raw not, it wouldn't always be the case but I think the fact that Omos turned up alone yeah. kind of indicates that maybe he was pulled at the last minute or maybe something's happened well I think something was actually put up uh, to say that he was going to be at the show. There was going right. to be a, so a tag match yeah, between AJ and Omos on the RK Bro, I believe. Right. But then that got changed last minute, yeah, and AJ Styles was not seen on Raw last night. It's been speculated uh, on uh, Observer Radio that potentially he's been injured, mm -hmm. but they did specify that it, they, they've not heard that, they're just yeah. guessing. Uh, but usually when people are pulled in this sort of scenario, it is because of an injury that yeah. they picked up, but no one's heard anything. So we don't know why AJ Styles Yeah, not sure. And I mean, you'd, uh, you'd assume perhaps as well that, you know, with 
them putting up the graphic being like, okay, he's going to wrestle tonight, and then it being pulled back. That no, in advance that he had an injury, maybe it's something that they kind of maybe it's just something last minute. Like, maybe it's just like a, a kind of nagging injury. It could have been grown over time, and he's gone. Yeah. You know what? And you get this. Could mm-hmm. be anything. Could it? Could be. Might not it even be. be an injury. It might, it might be illness. It could be anything. Mm-hmm. It could be absolutely mm-hmm. anything. But all we know is that Omos turned up alone, had a bit of a stare down. Yeah. They're still very much in the tag team mix. Yes, and. Um, Ah, well, they've lost two title matches now, though, haven't they? They have. So, don't know if they'll be looking to get those belts back. I think they'll get them back. Do you think? I think I think they'll get them back, and then that's when the stuff starts to develop between AJ and Omos. Oh, no. Because we love it, don't we? We love a good team that have the belts to then not like each other. In this instance, I can sort of understand, because mm. AJ's fantastic as a singles guy as well. Yeah. He's obviously one of the best around. Omos is... Like, clearly someone they want to be great because mm-hmm. he's huge. Mm. Um, and they're using AJ to kind of guide him through, I suppose. Yeah. I can understand why they break up this team, mm. but they've broken up so many teams now that... It's true. Yeah. Duh. 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 What's the word? Rudimentary. Not mm. rudimentary. Would that work in this context? In what just way? As in, like, it's j- that's just what they do these days. Arbitrary? Arbitrary, Arbitrary. is the word. Rudimentary See? isn't that, like, kind of basic? Oh, it's just rudimentary that's, drumming patterns or that's whatever. That's why I went to uh, to university to do music and not English. <laughs> Fair enough. There you go. Uh, now let's talk about this rumoured... Well, not rumoured. It, it's pencilled. Yeah, it? it's pencilled. So the WWE schedule for 2022, this UK pay-per-view. We talked about it in the last news video a little bit. Mm-hmm. We said it would be on either September the 3rd uh, or 4th, the Saturday or the Sunday, yeah. which caught, apparently in American is Labor Day weekend in 2022. Oh, okay. Don't wear white after Labor Day. Don't do it. I d- don't. What happens if you're getting married? Yeah. Then yeah. you've ruined it. Or you just fancy we're popping on a white t-shirt. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> I think I've always assumed that the Labor Americans, please let us know in the comments. I've assumed that you don't wear white after Labor Day because it's like winter now. Yeah, but I think get, so. Get your, get your autumnal clothes on. I get, yeah, I'm I not know. entirely sure to be fair. It's no longer summer. Put away your bright colours. I don't know. I, maybe. I don't know, maybe it's that. Get out your beiges. But maybe it's got more significant meaning. I really don't they know. Could. Um, interested to find out. But this UK pay-per-view will apparently be taking place on Labor Day weekend. Um, Wrestling Observer saying mm. the plan is to run it uh, in one of two venues potentially. Yeah. Either the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff, Wales. Cardiff or Wales. Cardiff or Wales. In Cardiff, more which inclined. is in, in Cardiff, which is in Wales. Yes. Uh, for those who don't know, Wales is one of the nations that comprises Great Britain. Wales, Scotland, England. Northern Ireland's in the UK. Yeah, Great is, Britain. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Cardiff, the Millennium Stadium, fantastic stadium, mm-hmm. uh, or Wembley in yeah. London. Um, one of those two buildings seems to be possibly the case. WWE have run in Cardiff before with NXT takeovers, NXT UK Oh my, takeovers. yeah, of course they have, yeah. So they, that could potentially be a link there. But apparently the idea is that this is the 30th anniversary of SummerSlam. Yeah. As we were speculating. We were. But it's not going to be SummerSlam. No, it's going to be something else entirely, obviously. I reckon, like how they did WrestleMania Backlash. Oh, do you think it's going to be like a... I think it'll have some of the SummerSlam branding. Oh, SummerSlam Backlash. SummerSlam. SummerSlam. Summon Cro- not over crossing yet. The, crossing the pond. Oh. SummerSlam Atlantic Antics. SummerSlam splashing the pool. SummerSlam uh, uh, t- summer, Bangers and Mash. SummerSlam Beach Ball Bonanza. SummerSlam All Right Governor. That's the one. That's the one right and there. And it's SummerSlam All Right Governor. <laughs> I will... <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, it's going to run on Labor Day weekend. It won't mm-hmm. clash with AEW because of time zone differences, yeah. in all likelihood, unless they run it really early in the day. But I don't think they... Or really late in the day, but yeah. I, I don't think they will. Um, and uh, also, it's it's potentially going to be in either the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff mm-hmm. or Wembley, uh, Wembley Stadium. It's going to be London. a big one no matter what. Yes, it is. Woo! Yes, it is indeed. And finally, a uh, bit of serious news, unfortunately. Mm. It's an update on Kota Ibushi's injury. If you haven't seen, in the final of the G1 Climax this year in New Japan, Ibushi went for a Phoenix Splash, um, missed on purpose, like the move was meant to be yeah, missed, of course. but landed hard on the canvas. Yeah. Hurt, it looked like he was, oh, hurt his arm, may have hit his head as well on the landing. It was brutal. A lot of people attributed it maybe to the fact that he's came back quite quickly from pneumonia mm. and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and, and he's been working a bit of a hectic schedule in the G1. Um, 
Bad times for Kota Ibushi, but New Japan yeah. have an official update saying uh, after treatment from ringside medical staff, he was taken for a thorough evaluation and it revealed a right anterior dislocation of the shoulder and joint lip damage. I'm not sure what that is. I'm guessing it's within the shoulder. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, recovery is expected to take two months, mm. which honestly, I mean, watching it, I thought it would be worse than that. Yeah, me I too. I thought he broke in his arm or something. It, it did not look nice at all. So it? maybe he can count himself lucky, but obviously mm -hmm. it's a massive shame for Ibushi as well, especially in such a big match. Yeah. Like, I felt sorry for Okada as well because he just had to be announced the winner mm -hmm. and he was like, oh well. He was like, he, he looks right. so surprised. Yeah, and it obviously may have thrown a bit of a wrench in the plans of New Japan's main event scene, although I, yeah. I was up predicting Okada was going to win, but there's no way of knowing. Oh, okay. There's no way of really knowing that. I mean, there's not now, is there? No. Not unless someone gives us some backstage dates. Yeah. And New Japan have said that further updates will be provided as to Ibushi's return when more information is available. But they're looking at the moment, as I say, at around a two-month time frame. Mm. Uh, all the best to Ibushi, hopefully Fingers he gets well crossed. soon. All the best to AJ Styles if he is injured or whatever's going on there. And all the best to you lot as well. Thank you very That's much for watching. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Leave all your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Tell us why you can't wear white after Labor Day. And, um, and enjoy yourselves as well. Have a great afternoon, everybody. We'll see you soon.